You just see so many moms even who are like, oh, I can't paint. Oh, I can't garden. Oh, I can't decorate. Oh, I can't homeschool. Like there's so many, I can't. And I think a lot of that just came from feeling um, like they couldn't measure up, like feeling like a failure, making some kind of mistake, and then not being able to put that mistake under the blood of Jesus, but instead making a decision about who they were or who they weren't because of that. And, and I really want myself and my children to feel like, you know what? I am a child of God. He is perfect. And he sees me in like, like when God looks at me, he sees Jesus. And so that means that I can try things. And if I make a mistake, God's not going to send me straight to hell. Like he is, he is patient with our, with our mistakes. He is gracious with us. Mm -hmm. And so we can keep on trying to do better and, and trying new things and being creative. And yes, sometimes we'll make mistakes, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't define us because we are defined. We're identified by our, our place as believers. Like we are secure. Our salvation is secure. Yeah. No, it's so good. And I think that sometimes we don't realize how our own insecurities and our own lack of identity being firm in Christ, but in the things that we do affects the development of our children's identity, being strong in the Lord versus in the things that they do and their performance, right? We we call that performance-based acceptance of yourself and performance-based parenting, which is like the complete opposite of gospel-based parenting, right? And so understanding that yes our the the things that we do right are the the stewardship for example right um or how we treat other people is a reflection of our relationship with the lord but it's not what saves us right and so like when we look exactly. at the, the bad behaviors we recognize like those are a symptom of a heart 